I'm Pedro Macias, I'm a creative director. And I'm Abby Waller, an engagement director at Wolf Olens. When we were first invited to work on the new visual identity for the Liam, the most important question that we asked ourselves and that we wanted to explore during the process was, what is the Liam? What does it mean to us and what does it mean to people who will be visiting and experiencing the museum? And what we were very excited to find out from the very beginning of the process was that there's not just one answer to this question. The Liam is in fact a convergence of so many different things and so many different identities combined into one place. Yeah, it's a very special place, I think, because it welcomes and, and showcases the, the best of Korea's past, so the art and artifacts um, that come from the, the history of the region, but also it embraces and welcomes contemporary artists, um, not just from the East, but also from the West. Um, it has something for everyone with different tastes across generation. It sort of transcends boundaries in many ways. Um, and that was really important to us that it felt like with the identity, we could help welcome people not into just a physical environment, but see this as more like a gateway to experiences that they maybe weren't going to be able to have elsewhere or with other people. And for us, that was a really exciting place to, to be and to, to think about the identity this way because uh, it felt like everything that we did could have the sense of, you know, always continuously to evolve and to adapt to different situations and to different contexts. Um, so in order to do that, what, what, we, what we took as a starting point was the, the most basic thing about the identity. Uh, it was the name Liam itself in those letter forms. Um, and we started to play this game, essentially, this typographic game, where we explore what those letters would look like and how they would behave if we essentially put them through this gateway or through this portal or time warp that would kind of like take the museum for a spin across time and space. And that would help people kind of make the connection between uh, Korea's past, but also with the future of contemporary arts. And, you know, I think what we landed on was this really interesting and unique symbol with this kind of uh, very strong circular movement to it uh, that not only felt kind of uh, unusual in a good way, but it created a, a nice echo to the famous rotunda of the museum, which is the first thing that people see when they walk into the lobby. Uh, they look up and they see that they're in a special place about to, to experience, uh, you know, a really rich and diverse program. Um, and for us, that was, that was a great starting point for the whole visual identity system. You know, not only we had this great little symbol, but we could use the circular movement to inspire the way that we treated layouts and typography across the system, uh, but also how we define motion and interaction behaviors for digital experiences. And it started to kind of give us a lot of flexibility to communicate so many different things, to capture the nature and the qualities of different artists, to promote different types of events, um, and, and, and at the same time, it created a, a connecting thread, a coherent connecting thread that would welcome and guide people through a seamless experience of the museum, both in the actual space, but also online and everywhere they went. And for us, that was a, it was a great place because I think it, it marks a new chapter for the Liam and, and, and really captures this, this dynamic and energetic spirit that they have. Yeah, I think that that made the identity mean that it had to be able to stretch into the future that similar to the the organization and the <clears throat> the museum itself that it was also able to adapt and evolve over time that it won't be a static form but it'll be a living and sort of breathing identity system that can um, evolve with with as new artists come into the space as new visitors um, come into it and it takes on the energy of those people um, that are interacting with them I think it's, a, it's, you know, it's the beginning of a really nice and exciting chapter for, for the Liam's trajectory, but it also sends a nice signal out to different cultural institutions around the world about uh, what they can aspire to be and what they can achieve and how they can engage with their audiences so that you know, we're always kind of uh, treating art and culture in the most uh, interesting and surprising way as we can in, in every way that we do. So it's been a real pri privilege to work on this project and to kind of explore what the future of a, a cultural institution can be.